Hi there, Aries. It's time for your tarot messages for the week. There they are right there. I'm Michelle B. And we're going to close out the reading with a uh, meditation, breathing exercise for embodying the messages that we looked at. And I will see you after the intro. Here we go. Let's see what your messages are for this week. We already got the, the little friend that wanted to pop out and one more. Oh, four of cups. Oh, oh, sorry if I'm bumping my mic here. <laughs> got a ooh, four of cups and four of pentacles. A couple of my least favorite <laughs> cards because <laughs> they, they're both about kind of like not being really satisfied with what it is that you have. This one's like more like, you can't have this. I'm gonna shield myself. You can't have what I have and I'm afraid of sharing. And this one's like, why doesn't why don't people share more with me? So they're both this kind of ungrateful kind of energies. Now that's not to say that that's what's happening with you right now. But you are being asked to keep in mind what you have to share with others, okay? Like you may not identify with that vibration at all, but you are being asked about what you can share with others. Now we don't want, we want to keep things really, really simple this week because Mercury retrograde is, has just kicked off. We just finished, or it is kicking off, and we just finished uh, a, a, a eclipse in Sagittarius, a lunar eclipse in Sagittarius, and uh, so things things got really chaotic last week. Things got kind of crazy. And for those of those of us who are kind of fiery type, kind of temperamental by nature it was really it was really overwhelming the the the, the passion in the conflict the internal conflicts going on within within us where like it's really sparked up and it was kind of hard to handle so try to keep things really really simple this week when you're going to extend yourself out but nothing helps you feel better about yourself like if you're feeling kind of low and not feeling really good about yourself nothing helps you feel better like reaching out and helping others, right? So you are being asked to open your heart. Open your heart and share your gifts with other people because there is a gift that's coming in. That's what that's that's a big thing. There's a gift that's coming in and uh, I think you know what it is that you're being called to do. Like you're sitting here looking at these cups but you're not noticing that cup there. But if you got up off your butt, <laughs> If you got up off your butt and went over and uh, started checking things out besides what those cups are, you'll see this one being offered to you. Okay. So I feel like there's a, there's a gift that's coming. I think you know what it is that you need to do to be participating outside of just your little circle that you're, that you're running around in. Um, I think you know what it is that you need to do. So I'm not going to make any suggestions to you about that. But I don't know, I just, I just sense this, uh, this narrative that a lot of West, not a lot, that some Westerners hold on to that, you know, other people are just trying to take advantage of me. And it could be something that's uh, like an ancestral, um, an ancestral narrative that's kind of carried on through generations and it came into your family that people just try to rip other people off. Maybe you have been ripped off before, taken advantage of. The truth is that nobody can take advantage of you if you have high self-esteem. You won't give too much of yourself if, you're, if your self-esteem is high. You can't be taken advantage of if you have healthy boundaries. So if you're, once you get to the point where you know that you'll be okay without the approval of others, it will be so easy to say no when you don't, you'll know when something's not right to give away. Your heart will tell you immediately when you know that something's not right to give away. And the fact is that if somebody asks you for something and you don't feel good and you're feeling conflicted, I don't know if I should feel good or not feel good about this, you could say, I don't, I can't do that right now. You could do that and then think about it for a little while. That's okay, okay? The way that my messages come out can be a little willy-nilly. And I really appreciate all of you who watch my videos on a regular basis 
because it's just like ramble, 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 ramble. And it's just like whatever hits home, I'm so grateful. <laughs> but it is about having the security of knowing the overarching energy is having the security of knowing that you're going to be okay even if you stick your neck out for other people. As long as you have a, a, a high level of self-love, nobody's going to take advantage of you because you regard yourself so highly. You're protecting yourself as though you're, you would be protecting your child or your partner. When you see somebody coming in to take advantage of you, you're going to say, no, I'm not going to do that right now. Gracefully, respectfully, you would be like, no, nah, I can't do that. And it won't, be, it won't even be a big deal. There won't even be drama involved. Okay. But keep everything really, really simple and you won't be overwhelmed and you won't be easy to be taken advantage of because you'll be in your full cognitive awareness. Let's do a little breathing exercise bringing these messages together where we're inhaling the love from the universe, the love the universe has. We're also talking about source or God, whoever you resonate with. I have a cold. Thank you, thank you for not to, tolerating my nasal voice today. Inhale love for four seconds, the love of the universe, and bring it down, down, down to our root chakra, to our safety zone, knowing that we'll be okay even if we say no, even if we set boundaries. We're going to release anxiety, worry, fear with our exhale for six seconds, and we're going to bring it out the top of our heads and release it to the universe. And then know that we, if we put ourselves out there in the world, we are just going to be so okay. We're going to be so fine. Okay. Inhale love. Exhale fear. Three rounds. Inhale love. Exhale fear. Inhale love. Exhale fear. One more time. Inhale, love. Exhale, fear. Great gifts are awaiting you when you get yourself out there. And you'll know when to say no. I trust myself. Thank you for being with me, Aries, and I'll see you later. Have a great week.